Welcome back to Advanced Orthogonal with Dr. Collins. On this episode, we're gonna talk about the axial view. The axial view or AP open mouth is a standard view that should be taken in all cases. The AP open mouth or an advanced orthogonal, the axial view is a standard view as a reference that should be taken in all cases. The axial circle is most easily visualized in this view along with some secondary references like the spinous process and the lateral margins of C7. Also, as an aside, it makes it really easy to spot a fracture of the dens, just to rule that out on your x-rays. In advanced orthogonal, it's a little bit different how we take this view because we don't take it on an arbitrary angle. We're actually using a George's line that comes off of the body of C2 to determine the true angle that the axis is sitting on so that we can take our view relative to that. If you remember from our sagittal view that we took, beyond our S line, the second reference line that we're gonna take is that axial line, that angle to be able to take this view. It's really important to capture the axis on the plane that it's on, that George's line off of C2, because you wanna make sure you're really capturing the true axial circle measurement. When you compare the axial circle that you would derive from an APOM axial view versus your frontal, they can be pretty dramatically different. Sometimes a half circle to two circles different, and you know that's really important because that's a key component to your height angle. If you can imagine, the S line that you draw for your atlas that you drew off of your sagittal view, that can be 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees. Often the uh, plane lines that I will notice, that George's line for C2, that axial angle, that will be a much shallower line, sometimes even slightly negative. So you can be talking about degree differences of 10 or 20 degrees. And that is a really big deal when you're talking about accuracy. So how do you set up a good axial view? Well, you should have just finished taking your frontal film, because that's the film that preceded this one in the series. In your sagittal film, you have your George's line of C2, so you know the angle that the camera needs to be on. So from here, the patient should have rotation removed already. What you need to do is adjust your camera to your new axial angle. And now you're going to also shoot through the facial feature that you noticed on your sagittal view. And that should line everything up pretty good. You may want to double check for your distance at 46, which is what advanced orthogonal takes pictures at. And then just double check your collimation, but everything should be pretty good to go. Now the last thing is you want to make sure with your strain and light, everything lining up, that the patient opens up their mouth, that you're going to be able to visualize what you're looking for, and you go ahead and take a picture. I hope you guys found that interesting. Thank you for watching. I hope you were able to take away, even though it's a short video, the importance of getting a correct open mouth. Not just arbitrarily taking it at 90 degrees, but capturing the axis on the true plane that it is on so that you can get a good, accurate measurement of the axial circle, which is a huge component of your height or Z vector if you're talking AO, abdo, epic type work. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for these. These are going to be dropping on Fridays, these episodes. Next one is the horizontal view. Stay tuned.